Hi, my name is Falzia. And my name is Sarah. I'm Zainab. My name is Devisha. I'm Angelina. My name is Aya. My name is Brandon. And, and together, together we are the Water Acidification Squad! On November 1st, our class went to Todd Morton Mills. We learned about various water issues, such as invasive species and plastic pollution. A couple of us decided to look deeper than what they talked about. Was there another water issue that wasn't widely known? That's when we discovered fresh water acidification. After we evaluated our own watershed, we realized that there were inconsistencies in our pH level. Together, the Water Acidification Squad was born, aka WAS Toronto. As you may or may not know, freshwater acidification is the decrease in the pH level of the ocean. The pH level of something is a measure of how acidic a liquid is. On a scale of 1 to 14, 1 to 7 is considered acidic, and 7 to 14 is considered alkaline. 7 is neutral, which is where the fresh water usually is, but as of late, the fresh water level has been decreasing, and that is why we're here. Well, the excess CO2 in fresh water affects Daphnia, otherwise known as water fleas. Water fleas use a chemical in the water called calcium carbonate to build their bones and shells. CO2 causes this chemical to become less in quantity and quality. It is a big problem if water fleas become extinct because they're at the bottom of many food chains. We decided to interview various members of the community to see how aware they were of this issue. I drive by my mom. My mom drives. I drive to school. My mom drives me. That's car. No. 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 Yes. No. Okay. These were the results of our survey. As you can see, many of the people we surveyed said they take car to get to school. Many of them said they did not know what water acidification was. Now that we know how bad the situation in our community is, we will prepare many different action plans. These plans include announcements, presentations, and competitions. First what we're going to do is... Brandon, don't explain. Let's just use a montage. <laughs> Once we finished all our action plans, we decided to conduct our interview again to see if there was change. As you can see, we have greatly increased the number of people who walk and take the TTC to school. We have also greatly increased the number of people who are aware of this issue. Although we made a change in our community, we would like to make a change in the world. We can help the water acidification squad by doing basic things every day. One, by walking. Two, by taking TTC. Number three, conserve energy. If you take TTC, we'll be happy as can be. <laughs> no, 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 I can't ask that way.